I was sitting here writing, and I thought maybe we should take a break and talk about a couple of things that I said yesterday in regards to all the other healthcare guys that are working on this stuff where you either reduce food or change food and that stuff compared to dry fasting. Well, <laughs> see, here's the deal. If you decide to eat for the rest of your life every single day or every couple of days, never get to the point where you can turn on autophagy like we talk about in dry fasting. Please follow those guys. Please do their kind of exercises and diet and nutrition and stuff because you're going to find out that some of the things that you know they're talking about, I totally agree with. I talk about in the next book. You know, we have a real problem with polyunsaturated fatty acids and the oils of these industrial seed oils. I mean, soy oil, canola oil, all that stuff should have never been allowed in the public as a food. And of course, some very powerful interests I made sure that it did. Uh, you can read all about it in this book. Um, in the third book, I'm going to talk about other stuff. You know, it's like it incorporates the idea that a lot of these guys, if you're not going to stop eating, you better follow these characters because they are telling you the truth. You need to change your diet, change your exercise habits, change your you know, your eating habits and that stuff, if you're going to not stop eating. Well, dry fasting, you take seven days and stop eating. And it solves all that problem. That a year of accumulated stuff that isn't solved at sleep never accumulates. Now, that's kind of the way we think about this. Um, but, but please, you know, because all these characters have talked about this stuff. All these guys that I haven't met with, I met some of them, you know, some of them I've, I've talked with and corresponded with and met in person and met on, online. And, uh, and we're in agreement as far as what health is all about and health span is all about. Um, you know, Joel Furman once said that, that it's not that we're living that much longer. We're certainly dying longer. You know, the, the industry involved in the takeover of the corporation of the government and the government by the corporations, this, I don't even want to use the word, but it ha it's happened in our country. These kind of things just evolve as ways to make more money for those people in power that are making money. But as far as you and I are concerned, just eat right. Stop eating seed oils, corn, canola, soy, cottonseed, <laughs> sunflower, all the kind of stuff that we've been told are safe because it's easier to grow those crops and squish those oils out and make them an industrial oil. Uh, but ghee, butter, coconut oil, some olive oil, a little bit, not all of it, because of the polyphenols in it, um, and the free fatty acids in it. It's, it's the sort of thing that you have to be very careful. You know, the easy way is to go mostly carnivore. You know, I, I don't talk about all the things I do eat. I mean, come on now. At the end of a year, okay, I have gotten back to eating some of the stuff I really enjoy because I know I, I can just say dry fast. That's all it is. I mean, I think all these other guys are absolutely right. You know, I don't want to name them, but, but I follow them too. All the guys on carnivore, all the guys on brain health, all the guys on, on interviewing stuff. You know, it's like, I follow them. Who doesn't? You know, all I'm saying is, for you and I, the idea here is you've got to make a decision whether you're going to dry fast or not. If you don't dry fast, if you just do short ones even, they are cumulative. They don't turn on the stem cells and do all the deep cleaning and all that kind of stuff because you never have enough time in it, but it does take care of the stuff over time if you just do some short ones. And a lot of people have some trouble uh, scheduling longer ones because of work. I mean, get serious. You know, it's, it's all fun and games to talk about dry fasting as a technique, but let's try to apply it in the real world. And when you think about it that way, it's like, okay, maybe a five day is a way to go. You know, because Filonov and Shishenikov both say, the doctors that perfected dry fasting in Russia back in the last century. They figured out that, you know, at least five days to achieve the benefits of a dry fast. Five to seven, is, seven is better. Eleven if you have major illnesses, but seven is fine, but five is okay too, and that works. You know, if you decide on a Wednesday to stop eating, and on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you, you don't eat, and then Monday you start eating again, you don't have to worry about refeeding syndrome problems for the seven day. You see, as you learn in the book, The Phoenix Protocol, there are certain things you have to do after a longer period of dry fasting, the seven-day thing, uh, to reestablish critical electrolytes that you've spent to stay alive uh, out of your tissue. Uh, 
But the idea that these other guys aren't on a tip because they're not doing dry fasting, <laughs> no, no, no. You know, these guys are doing exactly what we do in dry fasting. We eat properly. We don't use the industrial seed oils. We eat organic. We eat beef. We also eat some vegetables because I talk about it in the other book, Neogenesis. The other book is all about who we are as a being. We are the apex omnivore predator of this planet. That's just the way it is, baby. We've eaten everything to get here. We've eaten everything during all kinds of droughts and famines and fires and pestilence and all kinds of problems through the last four million years of our evolution. And we made it because we ate everything. Most animals can't say that. They have a very short diet. They are herbivores and that kind of stuff. We can eat all that stuff. We even invented, out of nowhere, we came up with the appendix to deal with the bone and hair and nails and stuff that were eaten from eating all the raw animals as early primates. Vestigial? I think not. Remnant of past successes? I think so. Anyway, don't take your appendix off. Uh, get your biome in shape. Anyway, so that's kind of the message here. It's like, it's a beautiful day in the afternoon of writing. Uh, I've got some warm sun coming through the window, uh, and <laughs> there's nothing to worry about in the world. There's really not, because this is where the world exists. Think about that for a second. You know, it's like, if you don't watch the television, you don't get the ideas to put in your head. If you don't like slasher movies and chainsaw movies and killer movies and um, all kinds of crazy stuff, don't put the stuff in your head. Don't watch it. It's not worth the entertainment value. Go off and read a book. Do something good for yourself. Anyway, so that's the message today. It's like we have a really interesting you know, ability now with dry fasting to get rid of all the toxins that would cause all the degenerate diseases of old age. Like I showed in the the chart of the la of senescent cells in the last video. Well, that's exactly what's going on. If you don't take care of this problem early, you end up getting, re getting the same death-defying feats happening, occurring, and, uh, and suffering on you as most people do. Uh, we're hoping here at the Phoenix Protocol we can kind of shut that crap down. Anyway, so remember, if you want to eat for the rest of your life, follow these other guys that tell you how to eat the right things so you have a nice health span. Do what Joel Furman talks about. Don't have a longer death span. That's all. And uh, if you want to drive fast and jump into this other thing, solve a lot of problems quickly, efficiently, because it's fast. It's five, seven days, you're done. It's not months and months of therapies and medicines and stuff. You just, first thing to try is to drive fast. If you're sick, first thing to try is to drive fast. It's non-invasive. It's non-chemical. It's non-prescribed. It's non-anything. It's basically what you've been designed to do over millions of years. Just stop eating and stop drinking. See what happens then. You know, that's kind of the way to approach all the problems. You know, just stop. <laughs> you know, if you're driving down the road and you're driving towards a wall, stop. Anyway, so it's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. And uh, just buy the books, Phoenix Protocol, you know, Neogenesis. Get ready for the next one. It's going to be lots of fun. And it talks about all the crazy crap we have to go through to be humans on this planet. And uh, more of the same tomorrow. Take care. See ya.